guys, how are you? Welcome to Do It All episode 10. I am so excited to even be like filming and talking to you right now because if you follow me on Instagram, then you know that we just went through the stomach flu at our house. It was horrible to put it lightly. We all got so, so sick. And since we've been sick, I have not been keeping up on things. So I have a lot of stuff to do around the house. The downstairs is fine, but the upstairs is just like, it's bad so we're gonna spend a lot of time up there i have of course a lot of cleaning to do and organizing i have some packing to do i'm not going to do like a ton of packing today but i just want to lay everything out in the hallway that i can like sunscreens and things that we are not going to need tomorrow um i can lay those out i actually thought that we were leaving tomorrow for our trip until like an hour ago and then i realized it's the next day so i'm like all out of whack you guys with everything but i'm just gonna get started and pick my life up slowly but surely as the video goes what else was i gonna tell you i feel like that's it we've just been so sick and i've been behind on everything i feel like i say i'm behind all the time because i am but now i'm like extra behind so let's make our list welcome to episode 10 hope you guys enjoy it and let's get started all right so i have a ton of laundry to fold i won't have it as a super long clip for you guys but the before and after is gonna be so insane. I feel like it's worth sharing. And then I feel like I need to pull apart our room since we were both sick. I actually, I cleaned our room right before we got sick. And then since the sickness, I feel like I need to do it again. Start the packing process. Reorganize my office. I have shoes I need to return and I have had that on my list forever. Okay, let's start there and then I'll add more throughout the video. So I just restarted the washing machine. I forgot I left stuff in there. That's like how chaotic it's been around here and that really never happens, but it did this time. I'm gonna strip down the bed. I'm going to get everything off of our nightstands, put away the lotions, the creams, there's socks and slippers on the floor, all the things. I want to vacuum the bed, spray everything down and just like sanitize this room. It needs it. So first I'm going to vacuum down the bed and around the nightstands. I put this shorter attachment on it. Then I'm going to spray it with the Febreze Fabric Antimicrobial. I use this in a lot of videos. I really like that. And I couldn't find the Microband. Um, it's like an antibacterial spray. So I found these instead. It's just a disinfecting wipe. I'm going to use this on remotes and light switches and just a lot of surfaces throughout the house. Well, my do-it-all fam, what is new? What's been going on? Fill me in all the details below. Here is a close-up of what I'm vacuuming up right now. I try and show these a lot more often now because I know farther away, it's kind of hard to see like what I'm actually cleaning sometimes. So there definitely is dust and hair, fuzz, all the things that accumulate on this bed. And people always ask me if I wish I didn't have a white bed, but honestly, I like to know that stuff is there so I can take care of it because I don't want to be sleeping by all of that so I actually like it for the look and for the cleanliness and I just wanted to mention um, that you should vacuum first and then spray because if you spray first a lot of that dust is going to get weighed down and it's going to be harder to vacuum up so yes please vacuum first and then spray second
that bed is much cleaner now so I am going to take some things downstairs I'm going to lay out my suitcase and get to that a little bit later and now that the bed has dried from spraying with that Febreze spray I'm going to bring all my laundry in here and get through this much quicker for you than it was for me I always try and reward myself while doing laundry like watch a youtuber or a show I've been meaning to catch up on really anything that helps me get through it and pass the time a lot quicker Hello, it's the next day. I was a little too confident yesterday about how good I was going to feel as soon as the afternoon hit. I think I just like pushed it too hard. As soon as the afternoon hit, I was feeling awful. So it's the next day. We're going to finish today. I'm going to go downstairs right now, pick up my office. It really needs it. I have a bunch of stuff down there. I need to bring upstairs to pack. I want to clean up the car and I have a lot more to do. So let's get to it. And this is what it's looking like on the other side of the room. So I did a ton of laundry. Almost all of it is put away. This is just what's left over. I have it on hangers, some folded, some on hangers. I did put the duvet back on. Alright guys, so as you can see we are now in my office taking care of everything in here a lot of clothes going on I think next week is finally when my spring fashion video is going to go up again just from being sick I wasn't able to get it up this week So apologies for that if you like the jumper I was just wearing the green and white one that is from Marshall's I got a small it was too short in the torso for me. So that's gonna have to go back And believe it or not, Forrest and I are sharing a suitcase, his and hers, so half is mine, half is his. I've come a long way, you guys. This is all the space that I'm going to need for four days. Shoes are gonna go on top and then I'm going to bring a nice sweater. I'll wear it when we fly so that way it won't take up a lot of space in my suitcase because I don't have it. And that's that. All right, so I can't have this shot as far away as I would like for you because it's sprinkling outside. But I always like to go through the car whenever we're about to go on a trip. It's just so much easier when there isn't a bunch of excess stuff in the car. And as you can see, there definitely is some excess right now. So the stroller I'm gonna need, but this I'm not gonna need. The car seat I don't think I'm gonna need. I'm going to use some disinfecting wipes in here too because I couldn't even tell you the last time I did that.
For some reason, before we go on a trip, whether it's a road trip, flying somewhere, the day before, you can always find me going through the car, wiping it down, at least just wiping surfaces, getting all the stuff out of there. Are you guys like that too? I'm sure I'm not the only one, but every single time I feel like I have to do this. And I honestly never really wipe down the car with disinfecting wipes, but I feel like I absolutely should be considering the vast majority of the time, right before you get in the car, you're out in public. So making a mental note, I need to do this a lot more often. And now I'm going to wipe down the stroller and shake it out. This has not been open since the last time we traveled. It's a travel stroller, so that's really when we use it. And there were plenty of crumbs in here. If I didn't get to them now, Forrest would get to them and eat them, honestly. So I'm gonna wipe it down, shake it out, and just make sure this is good to go too. And now let's quickly gather up those clothes that have been hanging out on my bed and make sure all of these are put away where they belong. Well guys, it's about 8.30, Forrest is sleeping. I am feeling so good as far as where I'm at for the day. I'm done packing, which is a miracle at this point. I've never been like this far along. And we only have one carry-on and two personal bags between all three of us, which is also a miracle. So things are looking up for us as far as traveling goes. I just need to add one more thing into the suitcase. The It's like a sippy cup slash bottle cup for Forrest for milk at night. Put that in there and then I can put the suitcase in the car the night before, which is amazing. So let's go. also told you guys I wanted to disinfect a lot of the light switches and remotes and I haven't gotten to it yet so let's do it right now. Mm -hmm. 